all right guys for any ultimate team coins as always you guys can go ahead and check out you seven my team with the season is almost here go ahead get some coins man load up so first things first let's kind of check out what we have today i mean i already see that new prime icon moments nedbed as an spc so hopefully that one's nice and cheap um for us i don't think that one should be very expensive at all who is the new uh silver silver player i believe this new silver player is going to be oh the season's about to expire wow um that was quick okay i think it's enketia right is it is he not going to be a milestones? Hello? Silver? Wait. Sword by... Sword by new. Wait. Hello? Is there no silver... There's no silver stars? Oh, okay. I mean... All right. I mean, I kind of was looking forward to that for once. But all right, what do we have here in the, in the SBC section? Um, we have a bunch of team of the season warm-up series. I need to complete all of these, man. These are about to expire very soon. Um, if we go to the live tab, what do we have here? We have a new whoa prime icon player pick. I, that that one's been there. Uh, we have Zhao Felix still there. Uh, I think it's going to be in the icons tab. I thought it was going to be in the live tab, but I guess it's not. It's going to be here in the back. Where is he? Um. Um, 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 where's Nedved? Did my game just like not update? One sec, let, let me check one thing. So I guess now that I reset the game a day in 23 hours until Team of the Season for the Community Tots is officially out. We have a lot of leaks already today. We have viewership rewards for the Team of the Season Cup. These are pathetic. So you get TFOs, badges, and kits. All right. All right, so it looks like there's a problem with the content. I mean, I'm kind of taking a look at it right now on Twitter to just make sure I'm not tripping, but it looks like Nedbed SBC was supposed to be released, but EA have had some issues. So we're going to go over now to um, the other screen. I'm going to show you guys my Bundesliga team of the season voting. As always, if you guys want to vote, link will be um, in my Instagram bio. Go check it out. If you guys want to vote, let me show you guys mine. All right, this is who I have gone for, right? I went with Manuel Neuer and goal. I kind of took a look at the goalkeepers, and there's really not one that's deserving. Maybe Flecken or Neuer are the top. Top two candidates trap from my favorite Bundesliga team of all time in Frankfurt is obviously there, but they're like an eighth, so he doesn't really deserve it. Um, I went for a defense that I wanted to see on FIFA, which Frimpong would be sick. Uh, Gavardio would be so sick with the pace, man. Imagine that card in Dicca this year is fantastic. And Alfonso Davies, I would love to see a better card of him as well. So basically just FIFA stuff. Um, for the midfielders, I had a couple options, right? I mean, these were the defenders, actually. For the midfielders, I had a couple options. I don't really care about a Kimmich card. I don't care about Diaby because He's probably going to still have like three-star weak foot. I don't care about a more. Royce would be okay. Sonny would actually be pretty sick. Um, but once again, I went for Verts before he had his injury. He was incredible. Would love to see him in there. Bellingham, a better card of him um, above his future stars would be once again sick to have. And then Kostic, another one of my favorite Bundesliga team players, is going to be in the midfield. So he does get my vote. And then in the attack, the attack that everyone is basically going to go for, we're going to get Lewandowski, who already has a team of the year. We have Nkunku, who's going to get his 11 special card of the year and then we have uh, Erling Holland here who hopefully is going to get an upgrade from 3 star 3 star man hopefully he's 4 star 4 star a little bit more usable um, and then these were my attacking options really no one too exciting um, yeah man taking a look at all these there's really not one that I would care about apart from these three so these three are gonna most definitely going to be in there so I'm going to submit my votes um, and um, that is going to be my bundles like a team of the season mode, guys. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Okay, so it does look like we did get Enketia. I was not wrong. Um, we did get a few other team of the weeks, which I will take a look at because why not? We'll take a look at Rafael Liao. I did not want to download his picture. <laughs> Thank you, EA. We get Corona, Muriel. Uh, we'll take a look at our, I guess. Vaughn don't care about. Pope is probably the only really one that I care about in that whole team of the week. Uh, but we have Eddie and Ketia. 74 rated, a big pace boost on him, a big shooting boost as well. Good physical. Three star, three star still, but a fun little one for Arsenal uh, teams in general. Very, very, very good performance from him over the weekend. We have Rafael Leao here. Still three less than his headliner, so no one cares. We get Corona here as well. One less than his rule breakers with, wow, 15 less shooting and 16 more defending though. Um, this card's a fun one. It's a fun one, but the shooting is awful, so I mean, you can't really use it, honestly. Uh, Muriel, uh, four less than his showdown, so no one really cares about that one. Our much lower rated than his uh, tradable uh, fantasy foot, and then also less than his um, other card. Uh, his winter card. We have Nick Pope, who finally gets an inform this year, and we all know how good Nick Pope always is at a six foot six with three star weak foot, just an 
Animal in goal, probably one of my favorite goalkeepers of all FIFA history. We have 87 rated Gabriel Jesus as a winger, um, who obviously has had two back to back great games uh, against um, whoever they played, Watford, and then uh, now Real Madrid. Three star weak foot on him. He's just a little bit meh. Don't really care too much about him. We have Kevin Trapp, one less than his headliners, but it does mean his headliners is getting upgraded, uh, which it already did, I believe. And then we have Nighty Rated Robertson, who finally matches um, this road to the knockout card, which is very similar, but not exactly the same. And then if we take a look at the SBC section, is it going to show the Nedved? No, it's not, because EA haven't fixed their content issues yet, but that is going to be it for the content. Um, let's check out this Nedved, and then we'll get out of here. So he's 300k, 300 to 400k. It's an okay card. It's an okay card. I think a Jody and bounce is a little bit low, right? Shooting's a little bit low at this stage in the game as well. Um, decent strength, good stamina, good aggression. It's an okay card. It's an okay one. Not really the most meta cam you could ever ask for. But that is going to be it for all the content, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know how your Bundesliga team of the season voting went. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll have a disagree. And I'm out.